thank you so much for keeping to support us with our channel where we are handling mathematics issues mostly and we thank you because you have taken time to watch our previous clips previous videos and we have received comments that we are still working on we don't have enough systems but we are trying to work on that and with time we'll provide with uh, the necessary gadgets so that we do better videos but thank you very much because of your comments and thank you very much for liking our videos and commenting today we are looking at a question of four marks and it comes from complex numbers given that z is equal to x plus j y and that z plus j divided by z plus 2 is purely imaginary we are supposed to show that x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus y is equal to 0. Now, we want to look at this question and answer it in the best way possible. And we pray that you give us a few minutes. Before we answer this, we need to know that if you are given a complex number z, x plus j times y, there is something else we call a complex conjugate written as z bar, which is equal to x minus j y you simply take your complex number change the sign between the real part and the imaginary part so for this one here we have x plus j y the complex conjugate of this one will be x minus j y so this one was positive we have changed it into negative and these two are called complex conjugates now what happens is, if you take z multiplied by its complex conjugate, we have x plus j times y multiplied by x minus j times y. Then we open the brackets algebraically in the normal way. We have x into x minus j times y. Then we add j times y into x minus j times y. We open the brackets by multiplying all through by x, we have x squared minus j times xy. Then you also open the bracket here, we have j, x times y, or y times x gives us x times y. If you multiply jy times negative jy, it gives us negative j squared times y squared. And there's something that we need to know about the number j. We know that j is equal to the square root of negative 1. Such that now, if we square both sides of that, we get j squared is equal to, if you square this, then you're going to remove the square root, we get negative 1. So that when you substitute this one here, it is going to be positive, and we end up with expression as x squared minus j times xy plus j times xy now plus y squared because j squared has given us negative 1 which is multiplied by negative 1 here to give us positive y squared now put like terms together if you look at this this is negative and this is positive so they cancel out we remain with x squared plus y squared that is z times z complex conjugate. That is very important for us to solve this equation. Now what you're going to do is, where z is in this expression, we substitute it with x plus jy. What do you get? So you're going to have z plus j divided by z plus 2 is equal to, where z is we put x plus jy, then we are adding j. Then we are dividing this one by z plus 2. No, no, this one is supposed to be x plus jy. Then we add 2. On the numerator, we can remove this bracket by having x plus j times y plus j and divided by x plus j times y plus 2. The next thing we do is put the like terms together so we are going to have x plus j is common between these two terms into y plus 1 then we divide 
this one by x plus 2. Those are real parts. Then we add j times y. That is important. And when we are given this, and it gives us this, there is something that is very important which we need to remember. What is it? That if I have a plus jb divided by a minus jb, to remove the j, the complex part from the denominator, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. In this case, we multiply by a plus jb, and on the numerator, we multiply by a plus jb, because that's the complex conjugate. And then we are going to proceed from here. Now, after getting this one, z plus j divided by z plus 2 is equal to x plus j into y plus 1 divided by x plus 2 brackets plus j plus y. We are going to apply the same principle here so that we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. Perhaps we need to write it somewhere. So we have, let us assume this is za, which is equal to x plus 2 into brackets plus jy. So the complex conjugate of this za will be equal to the same x plus 2, but now we change the sign between them, between the real part and the complex part, or the imaginary part. We change this one to negative j times y. So this is the complex conjugate of the denominator. We are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. What does it give us? Now we have z plus j divided by z plus 2 is equal to x plus j into y plus 1 divided by x plus 2 into bracket plus j times y. We multiply both the numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate. This is going to give us, we put a curly bracket here, a curly bracket there, then we multiply by x plus 2 minus j times y. We close that curly bracket. We do the same for the denominator. So we have a curly bracket here, curly bracket there, and another there, into x plus 2 minus j times y. If you multiply a complex number by its complex conjugate, just like we showed, we are going to have the sum of the multiplication or the sum of the products. So we are going to have x plus j into y plus 1. This is a curly bracket here. Then we have x plus 2 into negative j times y. We are dividing all this. Because this is the first term here, we have x plus 2, we square that. The second part here is jy. So we multiply that and get plus y squared because of what we have explained here. So our x squared in this case is x plus 2. And our y squared is j times y, this one here. So when you multiply, you'll get x plus 2 squared plus y squared. We have done away with the denominator. Let us expand the numerator. Then we can match them together. So proceeding, we have the numerator. We can separate it. Numerator. We work it separate so that it looks like easier. So we have x plus j into y plus 1. We are multiplying that by into bracket x plus 2. Then we have minus jy. Minus jy. We close the bracket. So if we work this one out, we take x, we open the second bracket, x plus 2 minus jy. Then we take positive j into y plus 1, we open the second bracket, x plus 2 minus jy, 
we close the bracket. We simplify that. So we are going to have x into x plus 2. And that like we sum this. Then we have minus j x times y. You have not like this and that. We open the second bracket with j into y plus 1. We open this bracket, we multiply by x plus 2. We also do the same. We take negative this one, j, y, this one here. Then we are multiplying by j into y plus 1. We close that bracket. So this is going to give us x into x plus 2. Then we have minus j, x times y. Then this gives us j into y plus 1 times x plus 2. But for this one here, we are now going to have a positive. Because this is negative j times positive j. That gives us positive. So we have positive y into y plus 1. We close the bracket. From there, we are going to put like terms together. So let us write them in a different color. So we have x into x plus 2. The first term here. We join it with the last term there. That is y into y plus 1. Then we are not going to expand this. We are only going to factor them out. So this is supposed to be a plus sign here. Then we can write a j which is common. Take j common outside can open a bigger bracket then this is xy so we have negative xy but for this one we have taken positive j outside so we remain with y plus 1 so we have y plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 we have taken j outside which is outside the bracket so when that is done we remain with negative xy. When we take j outside from here, we remain with y plus 1 into bracket x plus 2. I think we can now close the bracket there. So if this is the numerator, and we already have a denominator which is simplified here, then we can put them together so that z plus j divided by z plus 2 now becomes we have the numerator that is x into x plus 2 plus y into y plus 1 then we have plus j into bracket negative xy plus y plus 1 bracket x plus 2 close the bracket close the whole bracket then we have this one divided by our denominator is here that is x plus 2. This one is squared plus y squared. We can split the real parts on one part, then the complex, sorry, the, the imaginary part on the other. So we are going to simplify this into x into x plus 2. Then we have plus y into y plus 1. We divide this by x plus 2 squared plus y squared that is the real part then we have the imaginary part we have j outside a big curly bracket we have negative x y plus y plus 1 into bracket x plus 2 close the bracket then we have the divide because this is common to all of them we can have x plus 2 squared plus y squared perfect now from there we go back to our question it says that this expression is purely imaginary what does that mean there are two parts here there is the real part and there is the imaginary part if this expression is purely imaginary it means the real part has to be zero. Then we remain with that one. Applying that, we're going to clean here and get some more space. Some more space here to complete off the question. So we write the real part 
and equate it to zero because that expression is purely imaginary. Where does that one put us? So we have x into x plus 2 plus y into y plus 1 divided by x plus 2 squared plus y squared has to be equal to 0 because that's what we get from the equation that that expression is purely imaginary which means the real part is 0 that's why we are equating the real part to 0 now algebraically we can remove the denominator by multiplying both sides by the denominator so we have x plus 2 squared plus y squared we are multiplying that by x into x plus 2 plus y into y plus 1 divided by x plus 2 squared plus y squared then this one is equal to 0 because if you multiply both sides by that gives us 0 and uh, fortunately fortunately this now is going to cancel that one out as a matter of fact so that we have x into x plus 2 plus y into y plus 1 and this one is supposed to be equal to 0 open these brackets we have x squared plus 2x plus y squared plus y should be equal to 0 then we put this one in order we start with x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus y is equal to 0 and that is exactly what the question requires us to show i think we have done it correctly and that solves the question for four marks so though it looks much much longer it only serves four marks because some of these parts we are simply explaining what has to be done and uh, we pen off here if there's any other question we'll do it in the next lesson but all this is done in a similar way and this is important very important thank you very much for watching this video i will pray that you find it interesting and it can assist you to solve other similar questions and we also request you to give us feedback on what we need to change there is much improvement that needs to be done and we are going to capture that one in our lessons we have it in plan so subscribe to our channel like it share with friends family and let us get this maths done away with thank you very much for watching